Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Catch up with me today down on the River Wye. As you can probably see behind me, there's a bit of water on today. I've gone to a stretch I fished a few times before. However, we've got about 40 centimetres on, so a good foot, foot and a half of water on here. Yeah, foot and a half. And given that there's sort of shallows above us, we fish the gully on the far side. It's absolutely tanking through. Um, even knee deep, it's a struggle to, to stand up, to be honest. So I've sort of adjusted the position that I normally fish in. I'm going to fish from here. I'm uh, here today with my mate Tony, so we're probably going to share this swim. We're going to try and do some trotting first off. That's the idea, although we're going to be fishing across and we're not going to be able to hold the float back. Unfortunately, we can't get out far enough in this flow to be able to hold the float back. So it's just me a case of running it through at current speed and seeing how we get on. Knowing, knowing this, having seen the, the river levels, we've, uh, we've also got the ledger gear, so we might, might do a bit of ledgering later on as well. We'll just see how the trotting goes. As far as the trotting gear goes, I've got my usual stuff, my Daiwa Tournament Pro 15 foot rod, uh, Abu Garcia 506 Mark II close face reel, Drake Alloy Stem Stick Float. I'll stick a, a link up there, you can go and have a look to a video um, showing you exactly how I set the gear up, but I'll, I'll also stick all the stuff in the description below as well. Right, as you can see, I've got the bait weight out there. It's just about holding up because there's plenty of weight in it. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it as we slowly empty it by feeding feeding the bait in. I think we, it might go floating off downstream. We're going to have to be a bit careful. It's, uh, as far as baits go, we've got my usual stuff. I've got some garlic hemp and some mixed pellets to feed. Um, I've got some sort of three to six mil pellets all mixed up. I've got some cheesy garlic halibut pellets, some normal halibut pellets. I've got some uh, sticky baits, krill pellets. I've got some shrimp and krill pellets, all sorts of stuff mixed up. The idea being that the fish are going to be rummaging about, not quite knowing what they're going to find next. That's the idea. I'm going to run some luncheon meat down over the top. I've got a few change baits, got some bread as well, various types of luncheon meat as well. Um, some of the more fishy luncheon meats, the dynamite flavoured ones and the new mainline one as well. But uh, we'll just suck it and see, see how we get on. Anyway, that's definitely enough waffle. Let's get out there and uh, hopefully keep our footing. So guys, first trot through of the day. Looking forward to this, I always look forward to coming down here. Now the river is dropping very slowly. And we're talking very, very slowly at the moment. Hopefully it will drop a bit while we're here today and perhaps enables us to get out a bit further. But we'll see how we get on. It's a fairly nice colour, there's a few foot of visibility. Want the look of it. Certainly tanking through. As I say, I'm sure we can do a bit of feeder fishing, should we wish. Want a bit of a break from the trotting. I just trickled under once, I'm not sure if it was a bite or not, so we'll open off a little bit. Normally like to fish well over depth when I fish this stretch and get right out beyond the float and just really drag it through slowly. As I say, it's just not possible today, unfortunately. So guys, I've had a go for 20 minutes. Tony's had a go for 20 minutes. We haven't had a bite yet. It's clearly not the way to go. Clearly, we're doing something wrong. So, not quite sure what to do, really. I thought perhaps I'd run this down off the rod top, really hold it back, see if that would get anything going. I think I think a lot of it is that I can't hold this float back when it's out in that flow. Can't hold it back enough. I think it's just meat just whizzing past these fish far too fast, assuming they're down there. But quite often... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing. Tony's just wading out down below us. <laughs> it's just disappeared. <laughs> it's all right. I think quite often the fish are up here because of the oxygenated water. Well, there's all this extra water on at the moment. It's had a good flush through. I'm not sure they actually need to be up in this... in this uh, ox oxygenated water. I think the whole river's oxygenated at the moment. I've just got to try running this float through off the rod top. 
very, very slowly. I mean, we're not out in the, in the gully itself. It's still in relatively deep water. Yeah, I think we might be breaking out the, uh, the ledger rods before too long. Because like I say, this is clearly not working. Maybe we can try, try putting a ledger rod out, see if we get anything on the bottom. If we're not doing anything on the bottom either, and perhaps the move's in order, and further down the stretch. So guys, a bit of an update. I've just been out of the water to get some different hook baits. Um, I've grabbed some, um, I think it's mainline green halibut meat. So I'm gonna have a go with that for a bit. Tony has now had a chub and he's just had a barbel as well. Um, he's about, I don't know, 80 meters down that way, as you can probably see. I'll just nip down, give him a hand landing it. Unfortunately, he didn't have the camera with me, which is out in the river, in the middle of the river. Um, but uh, I'll stick your photo up so you can see it. But yeah, it does seem that perhaps lower down the run is being more, well, it certainly is being more productive than up here at the moment, but we're not going to just go all in down there. We'll, uh, We'll stick it out up here. I think, yeah, maybe, it may be location. But what I'm thinking is that he's able to, down there, and probably it won't come out on the camera, but down there, it's a lot more steady on the inside. And he's able to run the bait down the sort of crease between the fast and slow water. And he's able to run it down at a nice speed. Whereas in here, it's just rocketing through. I think that's probably the difference at the moment. But we'll, as I say, we'll stick it out up here for a bit and just see if can't, get things going up here it's usually a good area up here so guys it's all been happening this morning a bit of an update for you tony and i had a little bit of a break um left the camera and the bait waiter out in the river and then had a little bit of a drink turned around and the camera was gone <laughs> oh my god my heart sank um right into the water somehow in this really really pacey water it had fallen over or obviously been pushed over by the flow um, but stayed exactly where it was however most of the items on the tripod are not particularly waterproof including the camera itself so it's all over there drying out some of it appears to be still working uh, like the mic receiver and, and the camera itself power packs have died completely however i carry spares of stuff i've got a spare um mic receiver so that's on at the moment so hopefully you can hear me all right i've got a spare camera <laughs> in fact it's my old camera so that's what i'm using at the moment the other one seems to be working but again i'm not sure i trust it when it's been in the water so what i did was i had to go back to the car to get all these bits and pieces so while i did that um tony's been setting up a ledger rod to have a go up here on the ledger i nipped down got bits and pieces so I'll, go, I'll grab some ledger gear as well but what i'll do first of all is i'll nip down to the bottom of the stretch see what it's like down there so i'll fish down there in the winter but never really in the summer and uh i nip down there and realized i got my center pin trotting rod in the car unfortunately i hadn't got a working camera at the time um and i had three or four runs through and caught a chub straight away in a nice trotting swim down the bottom there a couple of blokes turned up and i think they wanted to fish there but i was there so they say so they left so I'm wondering what, whether we should go down there or not. Tony's doing a bit of feeder fishing still, ledgering it across there, just to see if we can get any reaction. He said something huge leapt out here when I was away. Obviously, the camera is now much further towards the bank and in much shallower water, so <laughs> we're not going to have a repeat of that. Um, but I just thought I'd give it perhaps a little bit longer in here, doing a bit of trotting. As I say, I've got my feeder gear to do a bit of feeder fishing, but there's not a lot of point if Tony's not doing any good. There's, there's not much point at all, really. So it may be that we, we're going to have a move shortly, but we'll have a little bit of a go again in here, do what we can from sort of this side of the river and uh, obviously casting over. Oh, I see something's just jumped out there next to me. So perhaps they've got on this feed. I don't know. Perhaps it's warmed up a bit now. The sun's been up. It's about 11 o'clock. So perhaps things have warmed up. I oh, certainly warmed up. Um, perhaps things are warmed up. We'll give it perhaps 20 minutes, half an hour in here again. See if we can uh, catch some fish. As I say, something's just leapt out here quite close in. So we'll have a go anyway. So, guys, it's not a different day. It really is the same day. I've moved to the bottom of the stretch. 
to fish this lovely crease here that you can probably see coming out from this sort of rocky outcrop I'm still on. It's not exactly a croy, but um, just throws a nice crease across the river there. I fished it once before in the winter. Uh, I had plenty of chub off here. So I fancy a go at this. As you can probably see, it's raining as well. It's been raining proper hard for the last 45 minutes, but it looks like it's clearing up. It's about two o'clock now. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll do exactly the same as here as we did up there with the trotting, but we'll catch some fish this time. That's the plan. <laughs> um, I've not spoke to Tony for a short while, but uh, last time I heard anything, he was still feeder fishing and he'd, he'd only had sort of one chub and that dropped off. So um, we're not missing anything up there, clearly. But yeah, I'm going to get in the water down here and we're going to run the float through here. And uh, as I say, this time we're going to catch some fish. We'll just inch it deeper until we'll start dragging under. Then we'll know the depth and then perhaps we can hold back a bit. But it does look just a nice speed to run through here. On its own, really. Sometimes it pulls round into the slack on the inside and sometimes it will just carry on its merry way. That's a bite. Oh, I'm sure that was a bite. A couple of dips on the float. May have been where it was tripping bottom. I think it was a bite. We've had a bite. Cracking. <laughs> That's gone under. There we go. Fish, fish, fish. Fantastic. Just buried. <laughs> Absolutely just buried. Well, it's coming in to the edge. So I'm sure we're attached to Mr. Chubb. He's put up a good fight though. He's definitely trying to get into the bank down there. not even anything there for him to get into <laughs> but he's trying come on that's a decent fish to be honest come in blimey that's under that one God. certainly not complaining about that first first fish well first fish on camera we did have that one here earlier that's a that's a cracker God. I am very pleased <laughs> very very pleased first fish for the camera and a very long fish hold him up above the net it's about that <laughs> cracking wonderful we're off the mark that's fantastic well as i say off the mark for the camera don't really count in that one i'd early <laughs> oh fun and games today fun and games i do hope uh, this footage and sound all comes out okay. I say I'm on backup gear, my uh, older equipment. For now, we'll take the other stuff home and dry it out. But uh, I think the camera has died. Right, a few more of those, please. Would be very nice. Look at that. Certainly moves up onto this feed. <laughs> it's not a very big one. But we're certainly on them now, clearly. That move has served us well, <laughs> you little tiddler. Right, there's nothing going on on the float. No, nothing at all. I think I'm going to go and grab the feeder rod. We'll have go on the feeder for half an hour. And if nothing happens on that, we'll uh, we'll take stock then. But I think we just try and make something happen and nothing's happening. With the trotting at all now, it's probably been an hour, as I say. We're getting on for since I've had a bite, so we'll break out the feeder gear. Oh, 
Well, let's do that 45 minutes and we have barely had a touch. Kind of little taps. Clearly smaller fish. Aside from that, nothing at all. Fish is sort of topped above me, a decent sized fish, but it could be anything, could be salmon or anything. So I think that being that, probably going to get off back up into the gully. It's about half past four now, so we're having, we're having a dodgy old day, to be honest. But we'll get back off up to the gully, I think, at the top, and just see if we can't perhaps winkle a few fish out up there. But, uh, yeah, not looking good at the moment. <laughs> Right, I'll see you at the top. So guys, we're back to finish the session in here. Where we're doing a bit of feeder fishing and of course trotting earlier. Kind of just done another chub. So he's clearly got his swim going. There's clearly some fish up here. So, uh, as I know this bit of the stretch better than the, down there, I thought probably a good idea to finish off up here but we'll see you know we put lots of pellets and hemp in here earlier so who knows I'm uh, I've realized I'm not fishing particularly well at the moment I'm just I think I'm <laughs> beating myself up a bit even though it wasn't particularly my fault but I'm beating myself up a bit about that camera falling in the water <laughs> Getting a bit annoyed about it, really, internally, I think. And uh, fishing like a bit of a plonker. It's about half five now. I think we'll probably give it... We'll give it till seven. If nothing's happened by seven, then I shall knock it, I think. Tony, bless him, keeps offering me to go in his swim. But I've, I've just said to him, look, you know, you don't get the chance to come very often fill your boots, mate. Having said that, I'm getting loads of rattles in here, by the looks of it. There's <laughs> definitely some pace dropping off this river, if not height. Absolutely obliterating this. I've got a pace wrap boilie on here and it's absolutely getting obliterated. You can probably see. We're in straight away. Look at that. It feels very chubby. It looked like a chubby. Uh... Chubby bite. Sorry, you got, you got snagged up there for a second. But it's another fish at least. So not, not giving us a beating. So I'm guessing it's a chub. It certainly is. It's a nice one. Nice fish straight off. Come on, we don't need a net for you. Sat in the water, so it's absolutely fine. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. I'd rather catch them on the float, but if they're not going to play ball, we'll catch them on the feeder. Go on, back again. Well, there's only in the water about. A minute so hopefully <laughs> that's starting as we mean to go on it's not going to be <laughs> cut the bites and out like last time or like down there <laughs> fingers crossed right after this cast I'm going to change things around I think I'm going to go on pellet I'm going to go on my one of my um, pellets I made bought some with me um, I've knocked up my own pellets from these boilers I'm going to piggyback one on the back of a hook I'm sure we'll be connecting with a lot more of these bites if you want to know how to make your own pellets again I'll stick another link up there you can go and have a look I've made these up but they work really well Just going to piggyback that. It's one of these bands that you sort of hook, put onto the hook. 
and piggyback on there like that and then put a bit of a bit of paste around it as well a bit of added attraction it's much smaller bait than the boilie plus of course it's on the hook rather than uh, being off the hook with a D-rig. Yeah. <laughs> Feels chubby. Crazy, and it couldn't buy a bite up here earlier. <laughs> Going crazy for it now. fish <laughs> oh he's a better one <coughs> how's about that that's a proper one <laughs> well the old homemade pellets and homemade paste are doing the job Wound it into a snag. Oh, it's a fish. That's why. <laughs> snag me up. Oh gosh, I thought I'd wound into a fish. Uh, wound into a snag. But there's a fish on. It feels barbly to me. I was going down there to try and free it up. But it's a fish. Yeah, it's moving. <laughs> Blimey. Oh. That's very strange. I wound in. I wound in. Perhaps I just wound all the slack up. This is just blimey. This is some power in this. It's old in there. And I'm just giving line. This is no chub. What a strange old bite. I felt like I'd wound into a snag. I think perhaps I had and I went down below and freed it up. Blimey, this feels like a decent fish. me again. Yeah, it's free again. Well guys, I think we've got him clear of the snags. Feels a decent fish. Making a bit of ground on him now. It's just trudging. There's a net. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite record at that stage yet. Blimey. Oh, a line wrapped right around his pelvic fin. 
That's why he's fighting off Finny. Right, let's see if we can get it. <laughs> Got him! Cool, what a scrap! What a scrap! Oh gosh, we'll have a quick look at him over the water. Fantastic cracking fish. What a scrap! <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Right, we'll get him out there in that fast water. Get him back. Yeah, that was a very strange old fight. Very strange bite. I struck and was snagged immediately. Look at was... <laughs> Tony's got one as well. I was off down there to free it. Snag me again, whoever it is. God, I can feel rocks or something down there. Great. In. Hopefully, we've gone away. No, we haven't. I can feel them grating. Oh, God, blimey. I think we know what this is. He's really trying to get back into whatever rocks are down there. I can just feel them on the line. Feeder perhaps banging against them. Oh, come on. How'd she come? I don't want to give him too much line because uh, I'll get back into those rocks again. God, I'm pulling my arm off. Scrap. Definitely not a chub. I grab the net and go out and meet him, I think. That's a good fishing, eh? No, oh, we're doing all right all of a sudden. Oh, I see a bit of colour. Looks a decent fish. Homemade pellet, homemade paste. Does the trick. <laughs> yeah, no monster, but cracking fish. One look at me and. Does the off? Of course. <laughs> Are you done? Nope. <laughs> Come on. Got him. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Another fish, similar stamp. This one's a close encounter with an otter by the looks of it. As I say, close encounter with an otter by the looks of that tail. But uh, aside from that, beautiful fish. Wonderful stuff. It's absolutely cracking. <laughs> right, let's get you back. Now, all I'm doing, you'll probably see there, I've just got one of these bands on the back of a quarter curve shank. I'm just putting one of these pellets I made into the band like so, just so it's piggybacked on the back of the hook and then just putting a bit of paste over the top. So perhaps with hindsight I should have stayed up here. 
today. Tony's done alright, I think he's had about four or five barbell now. Quite a few chub. Just concentrating on working that one swim. Looks like he's in again. He is in again, I think. But yeah, he's been working that one swim. Seems to have dropped on a, a shoal of fish there. Seems to be where they want to hang out. I oh, know he snagged up. I thought he was in again. <laughs> He's on a decent day, you know. Um, four or five barbell now. Mm, at least the same in chub, probably twice as many chub as that. You know, with hindsight, I could have stayed up here and perhaps I'd have done as well. But it just didn't seem to be anything happening for me and I get very itchy feet. I can't I can't just sit around. I'm not getting bites and I feel I should, should be. I had to get on my toes. Well, it seems to be the right call coming back up here. Although you never know what might happen down there, so it's difficult to say, isn't it? <laughs> well, we're certainly getting lots of bites up here. I was going to say, am I not in? <laughs> so wrap over. There we go. And again. It's a bit chubby, this one. And he's nearly in the edge here, so I'm sure, assuming it is. <laughs> that was really quick after we put it in. There he is. Come on. Is that a nice fish? Possibly the biggest one of the day. Maybe. <laughs> Cracking fish. How's about that? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Still milting. It must be a male. God, I thought it been all that over and done with several weeks ago. He's still uh, still in the mood, shall we say? Well, I'm running out of grain bait. <laughs> running out of paste. <laughs> Oof. Ended up having a decent day. It's, uh, it's not been quite the day I hoped. <laughs> really did want to do a bit of trotting today. Good stretch for trotting. Really fancied a day's trotting. I did think perhaps it would have been at a level where we could have still gone out and, and done some trotting. And it's, it was, but not not we couldn't trot effectively, unfortunately. So my last feeder full of grain bait. So. After this, <laughs> we're on the lead. Well, it's gone a bit quiet here, so I think I'm going to call it a day. It's about half seven now, and I need to get home at a sensible time, so I'm going to call it there. It's been a very enjoyable day, aside from my camera gear go for a swim. But uh, we've made do, well, if you've seen this, we've made do anyway, and uh, we've managed to get a video out of it, so I'm going to off home now to see how much of my gear I can salvage <laughs> but yeah no on a serious note we, we it's been very enjoyable not the day 
I thought we'd have today. I thought we'd done more trotting. It was very difficult this morning. Um, the fish just didn't seem to want to play ball at all. But they switched on a little bit later on this afternoon. And uh, I've had a couple of barbel. I think Tony's had five now. Um, and he's in double figures with Chubb. I've had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chubb, I think. So, yeah, my flitting about didn't really pay off today. But uh, I say I do get do get itchy feet. I can't sit around and, and <laughs> if I'm not getting bites. I can't sit around. And fair play to Tony. He's, he's still down there. He's uh, he must have said half a dozen times, "Come and have a go in here, mate." But uh, as I say, I'll come down here fairly fre- frequently and Tony doesn't get a chance much at all. So I certainly wasn't going to take a productive swim off him. Now, I'm not sure when I'm going to be out next. Um, possibly early in the week. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Bit, bit of a strange one. <laughs> Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.